Well, here you go again, everybody. I told y'all that Google a few months ago was going to start censoring Wikipedia. Well, I guess it wasn't enough information for everybody to share or wasn't one of the headlines as going around as being top-notch story at the moment. Well, we're going to let the robot read. We're going to stop in between uh, and talk a little bit. So y'all listen to what's happening here. Wikipedia has revealed that more than 50 links to content on its website have been removed from Google search results under the controversial right to be forgotten ruling. In response to this development, Wikipedia has created a dedicated page where it will be posting notices about attempts to remove links to the Wikimedia Foundation websites, which includes Wikipedia. The notices from Google, published by Wikimedia, show that an article about notorious Italian mobster Renato Valanziska has been delinked in search results. As Well, let's look at it like this. Just one more time. Corporate government is really hard at work just for you. <clears throat> That's right. The corporate government is working hard just for you. The 51% democracy. Yes. Yes. Democracy. Well, there you go, folks. Yet again. Here you go. I mean, censorship at its all-time high to take information off of a website, off of their website, to censor your files, programs, take you off of Google search engines. Hmm. Isn't that hmm, called censorship? Doesn't, don't we have the right to free speech and acknowledge that there's knowledge out there for us to see no matter who put it up, when they put it up, or how they put it up? Isn't it quite odd, folks, that corporate government is doing whatever they want to to take your free speech not only to take your free speech, but your right, your God-giving, sovereign right to knowledge. No matter what the knowledge may be, whether it's picking your teeth, to wiping your butt, to the outlaws of Josie Wells or whoever, it may be. Isn't it quite odd, folks? Think about it. Let's listen to some more. As well as an article related to the gang he led called the Banda della Comasana. The majority of the links which Google will delink in search results appear on the Dutch version of Wikipedia and relate to a Dutch amateur chess player called Guido Den Broder. Another article relating to the Irish bank robber Jerry Hutch nicknamed The Monk has also been removed. Hutch now runs a limousine service in Dublin. The Wikimedia Foundation told IBT Times UK that it is unaware of why the links were removed, or who the individual was who requested the removal, which it said was one of the problems with a ruling. Ruling in May the European Court of Justice ruled that individuals had the right to request search engines to remove content which features inadequate, irrelevant, or no longer relevant data. Okay. Really? On whose authority is it irrelevant anymore? Huh? On whose authority? Google's? Uh, the corporate government? Uh, government itself? Which is corporate as well? Because they don't want you to know something that may be beneficial to you in a lawsuit or 
in your everyday life or something that you may be looking up for your history or anything to that measure but it's okay for corporate government to take your sovereign God giving rights away is 51 percent democracy showing its ugly face yet again hmm Occupy Wall Street it showed its ugly face there is it showing its ugly face here huh seems to me as that it's shown its ugly face hey in the below section y'all leave y'all's comments show your show your lovely comments show your attitude and way you feel about your 51% democracy or had you rather live under the original true Constitution of the United States where you have those rights before they started changing all the rules and all the laws and corrupted our complete government and before it become corporate I don't know folks it's up to you but let's listen to some more of this and we talk a little bit more so far Google has received over 90,000 requests involving over 328,000 links with the search giant complying with more than 50% of the requests. The Wikimedia projects provide informational, educational, and historic value to the world. Wow! So they have removed up to 50% of the requests so far? Man! Let's see. If they do all of that, I wonder if they're going to, you know, get rid of uh, all the information about Obama's birth certificate and his information about all that forgery that's been put up. You reckon that might be why this law's put in place? I don't know. It's just a thought. Maybe y'all might have your own thoughts about that. Or the... Malaysian airline or maybe maybe Ebola uh, uh, who knows if they start censoring one area what are they gonna start censoring next folks we really got to pay attention to what they're doing because they don't seem to be liking us very much anymore. They don't like us having our own God-giving rights of being free and sovereign at all. No, they don't want that. If we got sovereign God-given rights, then guess what? You're not their slave puppet no more. Ain't that terrible for them? They don't want you to wake up to the fact that you're really a free, sovereign individual. They had just rather make stories and make up stories about sovereign citizens to make you think that you are a sovereign citizen, which kind of contradicts itself now doesn't it a citizen means you belong to the corporation sovereign means you're free hmm they like twisting the words don't they they sure do 
that like twist on them. Hell, even it even sinks into your own head after a while for everyone, and you make mistakes saying it yourself. You do. You really do. Because you hear it every day. How many people out there that you know of walk around and ask people, do they live in a democracy or a republic? See if they give you the correct answer by saying a democratic republic or just plain republic. Most of them are going to say democracy. And that's no joke. If you don't believe me, do your own survey. Please do. Make a video on it. Record it. Whatever you can do to get the information out just to show people. Let's listen to some more, okay? Their content should not be hidden from internet users seeking truthful and relevant information, the Wikimedia Foundation's General Counsel Gulf Bingham said. Bingham said that the ruling compromised human right and the foundation was going to reject this kind of censorship. You heard it straight from Wikipedia. Censorship. Now that's a corporation too. Now we got corporations fighting corporations about freedom and democracy. But the people out there that want to do something and their little 51% can do about anything anymore. Do you see how your country and the world has started operating? Are you really listening and paying attention to how they twist and confuse you on real facts of every day? All the hidden propaganda that's afoot. In Russia today, said, well, it wasn't really Russia, it was U.S. propaganda saying that the Russians may invade Kuwait or Ukraine. Ain't that funny? Just keep the propaganda coming so we don't have to be free. At the launch of the 10th annual Wikimania Conference in London, which covers all things to do with the Wikimedia Foundation, its founder Jimmy Wales said there was no conflict of interest, even though he is part of a Google's advisory board. Google asked me to join, because I had come out already so personally against the ruling. Transparency report in conjunction with making its first public statement on the controversial ruling, the Wikimedia Foundation also published its first ever transparency report to detail the number of requests made by governments, individuals, and corporations and how many of those were complied with. Well, you know I thought we were going to not say nothing till the end, but as you see, governments and corporations, hmm, they should have said government corporations, would have been more to the point because they are corporations. But they're the head. <clears throat> they're the gut. They're the big CEO of the corporation. You know, corporation has a CEO. Obama is a CEO to the United States. Right. That's the way it works. It's just a CEO. Uh huh. Well, maybe if things do get to change and we do get to have a new election, if Ebola don't come out and kill half the world, or we go to war with Russia and that kills half the people in the world, one or the other, or, or I gotta say this for the sun god lovers, or in case the sun, sun may come out and, you know, pull a CME that's gonna destroy the electrical grid, but, Hmm. I think there's been enough controversy about that for the last 10 years and I think they've probably figured out how to correct that problem by now. Uh, 
I ain't sure about that. I ain't done no research on it, but it don't really matter now, does it? Everything's still going to be here. It all depends on the people. In the corporate greed of all those people that lose electricity because they won't have cable, they won't have internet, they won't have TV, they won't have none of those things, right? Yet again, here we go. We're going to make it one of the most important things that we can make out there. All about sun worship and loving the sun. Sun's a great thing. It is. You get all depressed when it's raining for more than a couple of days. But really, I don't know, folks. It's all up to y'all. We can play these little games, be all hyped up on them, and not really focus on the truth of the issues of the problem. But let's listen to the rest and maybe this video will be over. The report covers last two years from July 2012, explaining how many removal requests Waikimedia Media received, where they came from and the result of the people. Oh, wait a minute. Come from the people? <clears throat> Are you serious right now? Huh? Come from the people? Is that the same people that was running, uh, I'm going to, we're going to take Congress over because we're going to do the May Day U.S.? Is that the same people? I don't know, folks. I don't know. Also, the same people that was behind Occupy Wild Street? Hmm. Better wake up soon, folks. I'm telling you. The report says the Foundation's mission is to provide free access to the sum of all human knowledge. Wales categorically denied receiving any national security-related removal requests, which it may not be able to even deny anyway. National security? Uh, um, they didn't receive any. Hmm. But they deleted it anyway? Hmm. Well, it's kind of weird. It really is weird, folks. I mean, how much longer are we going to be able to actually make videos and put up our own web pages? I mean, seriously, are you awake yet? The report reveals that 56 requests were received in the last 24 months for user data with just 14% of those requests complied with. In the last two years, the company has received over 300 requests to remove or alter content on Wikipedia but the website did not comply with a single one of these requests. Most of the requests came from the US with Germany, France and UK the next most prolific countries. Okay everybody, you heard for yourself. <clears throat> you did? There'll be a link in the below section, like always. Uh, please go to the links in the below section. There's a bunch of links, but generally the first link is the one to the page. Uh, that is, if it don't get scrapped for some reason and I have to go back in an hour or the next day when I find that it's missing and put it back in. But it's generally there. I try to put it in every time. Sometimes it takes a few minutes because I have to put up the video, then put it on the web page, and then I get the link, and then I put them both up. But remember, people, remember. And remember for yourself, from your, your, from yours and mine, cold, dead hands, abolish corporate government. If you really truly believe in being free and sovereign not a sovereign citizen but sovereign a free individual worldwide have a good day
Go to the links in the below section for updates every day. Abolish corporate government from my cold dead hands.